The isolation of Galapagos from any other landmass was key, is key, to the future of the biodiversity of the Galapagos Islands. This isolation, traditionally of course, was the ocean. 600 miles of um, rolling oceanic seas, which was difficult to cross for many creatures including small birds. Now, with the daily aircraft arriving, weekly boats, cargo boats, there is always the risk of them bringing something with them. The first and the most invasive species are humans. Humans brought dogs, cats, rats, some of them uh, accidentally. And these species are producing a lot of impact with the birds. In 2015, I personally got extremely concerned about the fate of these birds. We don't want these birds to go extinct. They deserve to survive. Many small land bird populations in the Galapagos Islands are declining. One of the main factors is Philornis downsi parasitism. Philornis downsi is a fly. It's about the size of a common house fly. Although a fly is a fly, it has to be realized that this is the greatest danger that the small birds of Galapagos face. They may well go extinct if we do not control a small fly. In the 1990s, we first discovered Philornis downsi parasitizing land birds. Females lay eggs in the nests of birds. Once these fly eggs hatch within a nest, the larvae worm-like stage eats blood and tissue from the baby birds. These birds have no defense mechanisms against a nest parasite. We're looking for nests of small land birds. We're tracking these nests, monitoring them. And then we're also doing experimental treatments with a insect growth inhibitor inside the nest to try to control the larvae and pupae stages of the Florinus. The emotional toll of the effects of Florinus downsi during work is very um, heavy sometimes. Sometimes I'm tracking nests and I find baby birds inside a nest. I see them every day, every couple days, alive and active, and then I find them dead in the nest. And to know that they're killed by Philornis, by this fly, um, is very heartbreaking. Two of our short-term solutions for controlling Philornis involve an insecticide that is injected into the nest base. Sterile insect technique is where you raise a lot of flies in a lab. You sterilize all the males via radiation, then you release them into the wild, and the wild females will mate with these males that are sterile thus producing unfertile eggs, and so overall it'll decrease the population. The long solution is biology control. So we are looking for the uh, natural enemies. So we know right now that the, a small wasp, they call it Conura anulifera, they will be the possible control biological. My fairy bird here is the little vermilion flycatcher. It's endemic to the Galapagos and we found that Philornis affect drastically the Remedium flycatchers. I have friends who've lived all their lives here, and they would say, you know, um, there used to be Remedium flycatchers around our, our farm, and it, it, was, it was an inspiration to us, for these little birds flittering around in the, in the, in the mists and fog, and, and it was like, they, there was like a sort of spiritual thing in it. Philornis downsi, a fly, is not a very charismatic species and many people won't find it very interesting or feel compelled to help or share or donate money just to understand the biology of a fly or control a fly. But if we put it in the context of the famous Darwin finches, 
the other endemic and native land birds in Galapagos, and all the baby birds that are dying from the effects of this fly. Potentially, these people will have more heart to try to help us find a solution. Galapagos is a key spot within the whole world. It represents nature and the incredible power of evolution. So I want to provide something for the future because, you know, uh, if we don't do anything right now, maybe in 50 years, some species will not be present. We are working really hard to help these birds, but we need to help to share this information and we need to your support for um, your donation. I just don't think you should ever give up. I think you have, you have to go on. Never, never say it's too late and we're going home. Um, and the planet can't stand that.